Are you interested in driving for Central Oregon and Truck Company and have one year or more of experience? Click the application below. When it asks you, how did you hear about COTC? Put in driver referral and tell Jimmy Olson sent you. If you have no experience and want to become a truck driver, click the Prime app below. When it asks you, were you referred to by a Prime driver? Click yes and type in code ZIE. GDV. Now let's get to trucking. What's up everyone? We are here picking up fencing, but this road's so busy I've literally sat here for like a good two minutes. I'm gonna have to cut some of these cars off. I don't know. There's gonna be a point. But this is the only entrance. Oh my god. Uh, we're headed to Bakersfield, California, so I am going home this weekend. Come on, tow truck. So, probably go get delivered Wednesday to Bakersfield, get a load to Arizona, and Arizona to home. Looks like the plan. It says it's right here on the left after this. curve if I gotta make a left in there. Yes, right here. Yeah, it's gotta be this. That's gotta be this business. right here. It says it's right here to the left. Uh, that's the door. Okay, we're gonna park right here. Everybody's way. Place called Privacy Link. So I'm gonna check this door out and we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll let you guys know. All right, let's check this door first. <laughs> I saw their sign and they'll guide me. Please call for assistance. Uh, let me see. We're gonna go walk to the warehouse. Let's go walk over there. Where's the phone? Where do I check in? Hey, how are you? Good. Where do I check in, you? Uh, no, just gonna you have a flatbed right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the, the first warehouse over there, like, like right next to where you're parked, uh -huh. there's gonna be a glass door and there's gonna be a, a regular door. Just going through the regular door, there should be somebody there. That's oh. for Alberto. Yeah, because they have like a sign on there to call a number. Yeah. So the door next to that one? The one next to that one. Just okay. For Alberto. Anybody will know who he is. Alberto? Yeah. Okay. What's going on in here? Is it? Is there Alberto? Oh, him? I'm I'm picking up. <laughs> I'm with uh, Central Oregon. It's going to Bakersfield. Uh. It's going to Lamont Fencing. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want the pickup number? No. No? You're, you know what it is? I think so. Did <laughs> they tell you this to be tarp? No, no tarp. You need a tarp? I'm gonna have to call him then, cause uh... Yeah, tarp load, no tarp. Okay. 
Yeah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, makes me happy. <laughs> All right, well, I guess they don't have a load here for me. So I gotta make sure I track these miles, make sure I get paid for that. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna pick up a load till tomorrow, so. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try, let's PC out of here. I saw some food places. I'm gonna try to find parking. What's up everyone? We're here at the Loves in Brigham City, uh, Utah. So no load, so they canceled. He said to head down here, and he's giving me a load right out for Ingham City. So not the best day for miles and all that, but they're gonna say, you know, shit happens, which it does. And they're trying to get me home. So I don't know what the fear is to send me up to like Oregon or Washington and then right back down. But uh, he says there's no load going to Bakersfield. So it is what it is fire truck driving <laughs> you know so and these are always the issues going home so there's these guys that will say that's why I go home every six weeks because they always have an issue getting home so <laughs> or they give them shitty miles whatever so we're gonna shower here I'm gonna go eat and I'm gonna go to bed early because I woke up early and I'm tired man I only got like four hours sleep so I'm gonna go sleep early I hope he gets me a load so I can get in there early morning and uh, get loaded. First person in, first person out, and then we'll just head to Bakersfield, which I don't know how far we can make it from here. Maybe to hatch a pee or something, I don't know. So we'll let you guys know tomorrow. So I'm gonna go shower, eat, and go to bed around like seven. And then I'm gonna find out what time these people open. So we'll see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.30, been up for about an hour. Uh, still no load. Uh, I feel like a reefer driver, man. This is sit and wait. You know, we got here at the truck stop, what, around 3.34? I thought he had a load, he said, but I guess not. And, um, I guess there's no loads to Oregon. I'm not sure. Um, because that's what would be the idea was go to Salt Lake Monday, pick up a load, deliver Wednesday to Oregon, and get an Oregon load home by Friday. Deliver Friday and go home. So, I'm hoping that's the reason there's no loads to Oregon. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy. Uh, I'm going to still sit tight. Try to be patient. You know, Say a command. I'll go play some video games. This thing is stupid. Um, and just try to not get pissed off. <laughs> I don't know how you reefer drivers do this shit. They'll drop me off the wall. Just sit and wait, sit and wait, sit and wait. I can't do it. So, um... But we're gonna be patient. I did give him a call, so if I don't get a load by like 9:30, I'm gonna call him again. I don't. I need a load. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see you guys when I get a load. All right, you guys, we're here in Clearfield, um, Utah. I don't know what we're getting. I can't tell. This place looks like a shit hole. <laughs> so I hope it's something easy. I don't even know if it's a tarp load or not. That's gonna be the other thing. I hope it's not. Come on, guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, load assignment says tarp. <laughs> we'll see when we get here. We gotta see what this is. Come on, brother. Let's go. Because it's raining out here. You can go anywhere underneath to take cover. 16th Street, what's the address? You just get loaded right here off the street. I don't know where we pull off to get in here or anything. Say, the address is O 
low bore trans transfer. says it's the third building to the right. you guys this is ridiculous i've never experienced this in my trucking career so we get here at osborne the load is supposed to be for an overweight like a maxi trailer they're supposed to haul 50 to 52 000 pounds so now i'm probably gonna head somewhere else now i don't know man if alex gives me one more fucking load that an issue i don't know what i'm gonna do i really don't know I might lose it. I might call Trent. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yes, we get paid for the miles. But I want to get loaded and get going. That's all I want. So we're going to roll out here again. We'll let you know what the next load is. All right, you guys. We're here in New Core Steel. It is uh, 1120. It's been exhausting two days. <laughs> all I can do is laugh. Like... I think I'll be upset if they cancel this load. Like, if I get here and they said the load's canceled, then I might start losing it. <laughs> but I'm trying to take it all in stride and just laugh about it and just get home. That's all that matters. back here towards the rebar. I've been here before. So I don't know where this is at. Last time I went back here they overweighed me so we will see. But that was with Prime. And I had a 53 not a 48 so
changed it over here. Really? What am I getting? 20 footers. 20 footers? You want to do center load? Yeah. Okay. Try to get a little more to the front. How much is the weight? 48,861.6 Forty, pounds. Oh, okay. So I got the closed axle, so we got to make sure we... Do you need to move the tarps or anything? Not center load. Okay. Hang out in the truck or this will be right in the middle of your trailer. Okay. You need more boards or anything? You're good and everything else? Good, good. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, we're up to four right now. Get our paperwork. It's scaled out. Uh, we look pretty good. We're going to be right at 34 on our drives. We do need to get some fuel, so... Um, I gotta look at where all the weight stations are because I'm pretty sure where I'm gonna feel it's before that weight station. So, and then usually I won't hit another weight station, I think, the whole trip pretty much. Come on, zero out, buddy, zero out. We'll see. When did you start opening the other scale for outbound? So, if there's nobody coming and yeah. there's a long line, yeah. you can go over there. Okay. You don't have to wait for the... This one. Go. Smile when you're on his GoPro. No, it's not on right now. <laughs> Good. She's probably been on before. Oh, great. <laughs> I miss the days when COVID, man. Like, you guys go out there and give our paperwork and all that. I was like, man, those are... No, now we're in the exercise mode. I know, I was like, damn. I thought of one thing new core would have kept. No, that was a pain. Nah, for we us. We go out there every time. They we had, had a runner girl that would take the paperwork. Out the there. clipboard out and have them sign in. She would take their paperwork to them. Whatever every driver loved sign. it. Man. Okay, go ahead and sign. We had we big plexiglass up here. Yeah, it was yeah, awesome. when it was snowing and blowing, she still... Yeah, <laughs> pouring rain when I was here on COVID. It was yep. like pouring. I felt so bad for her. I tried to give her some money, but she was like, no, nah, I can't. She looked like a mess. <laughs> she can't take day. any money. Yeah, I know. I felt bad. We all felt bad for her. She was like soaked every, there was like 15 trucks out there. So she had to go out there, go back in. And, I was like, and then she'd have to walk the line to do the gate agreements. Like in January. Yeah. She'd walk, take the iPad and go <laughs> <up> the hike. <laughs> she looked miserable. She Wild times. <laughs> yeah. Hey. All right, thank you guys. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, we're gonna make this quick. It won't take us long. this right here. Come on, bye-bye.
there. You can see this is two, four, six. That oh, should be good. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. this one because I don't want to get hit. I'm 
you guys. So this is the main road. Right here. And they got parking. Let me show you guys. So I'm wondering. See, there's strips of road to park. So I'm actually going to park here. They can only go about 35 down here. So it doesn't seem too busy. I saw a car. I don't know if there's somebody in that wait station. But we are going to park here for the night, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're going to park here. So, all right. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, 7 11. 7 11. Uh, we're going to roll out of here right now. Uh, way station was actually pretty quiet. Not bad. I didn't have a an issue at all sleeping. Didn't hear anything. It's not that busy, but I'm a freeway. I don't think a lot of people take the 89. Uh, like it's not heavy traffic, so uh, still a little tired, but we're doing pretty good. Uh, we should be there by 11:30, like I said, and hopefully get a good, pretty load. Uh, but yeah, did pretty good on time. Pretty happy about that. Uh, I'm hoping to get a load to like NorCal to deliver like Thursday. But I think I'm gonna get a short load delivered by like Friday morning, like go up towards Bakersfield and then head home like Sacramento area or yeah, somewhere up there. I'm hoping that's my plan though, is where the shingles and um, US pipe and all that is up there. I'm hoping to get a delivery up there and pick up that and then come home so we will see uh we're gonna roll out of here guys and uh we'll see you here in uh wherever this place is <laughs> so you guys see this is where i stayed last night i could have walked down here to see this cool bridge in this dam but ah, i was tired last night <laughs> uh, we'll take you guys across this beautiful ride uh, if you guys want to I recommend stay at the weight station though not too bad nobody parked next to me or anything so it was just me myself and I I do want to see if there's like another big dirt lot up here just in case you don't want to stay right there at the weight station but I seem like a little too far of a walk. I don't know. Let's go check out this bridge. Lane Canyon National Recreation Area. Lane Canyon, damn. There's a welcome center. Can you fit in there? No. I think this is part of the Grand Canyon because if you go in the 89A, you go over the north, it's called the North Rim. And I think this is the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. This is the Colorado River. here for the night and there's this big ass dam right here. Man, I forgot about this. Shit. Look at that. I should have stayed the night here last night. Fudge. I didn't know there was this big parking lot right here. Yep, future reference next time. Park here. <laughs> and I could have done a couple cool videos. Yeah. All right. This will be an excellent spot to do a 30, uh, a 10 hour break. All right. All right, we'll see you guys.
What's up everyone? We are here in Dewey Humboldt slash Humboldt, uh, Arizona. Did really good on time actually, 11.04. Uh, we did four hours of driving. So we actually did really, really good going through slow speed towns, a lot of hills and mountains, but uh, did pretty good. Buddy, easy. I didn't really satellite this, so. <laughs> but as you guys can see, I love this tablet, man. It's the everything. It should be on this corner. Uh, let's put our hazards. Steel rebar, I think it's that one. 740. Yeah, it's gotta be that. We're gonna go check in this way. Uh, let's go on in. Let's grab the paperwork. There's one. There's two. We got our keys. Grab our phone. Turn the lights off. Let's go check in. Ugh. I have a load of rebar. Uh, under... Oh, you're delivering. Yeah, yeah deliver. oh, Okay. Are you in? No, I, I don't go into my yard unless I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Just pull in there and just kind of, you know, stay parallel, parallel where the opening and the gate is. So uh, I'll see ya. I'll come out. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Let's go. We'll stay center. Good on that turn. I think we did. Howdy. How you doing? All right. I think I talked to you. I don't know. I want you guys. <laughs> uh, I need to move like four feet to the right. To the right? Yeah, I was worried about his pickup. That's the only thing. All right. Yeah, I need your uh, passenger side tires on this line. On that line? Yeah. Okay, all right. You always smoke the cigar? Yeah. For a long time, yeah. What's that? For a long time? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I've been doing about four or five years trucking. I've hardly ever seen anybody. It's kind of cool to see it because it seems like it's a dying thing. <laughs> It's good? Here's your coffee. Yep. Okay. You guys get a lot of this load? You get a lot? Yeah. Shit, I would take this load more often. I was like, it's an easy short one day hop. Yeah, we get this through. We move this stuff like no other. Really? Yeah, this and stuff for fencing and whatnot. This is one of our big moves. I'm going to ask them to come here more often. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wait for them to start unloading and we should be good to go for our next load, guys. Uh, 